In news, Nigerians shocked as Pastor Tunde Bakari tells congregations he will be Nigerian's president on May the 29th, 2023, although he did not win the APC primaries. So Nigerians are surprised. Nigerians are shocked. You know, I mean, what he said, he did not win the primaries of the party. He did not win anything of such. So how come? How come he's winning the presidential election? That's where the big question is. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. What is Pastor Tunde Bakari really talking about? May 23rd will be a contest of those who has won their primary ticket. And you know, Pastor Tunde Bakari did not even win a single, did not even win a single, uh, a single uh, vote. Did not even get a single vote. I will become the president on May the 29, 2023, Tunde Bakari tells church congregation. As the 2023 general elections gather momentum, the presiding general overseer of the Cathedral Global Community Church, formerly Lateran Assembly and former APC presidential aspirant, Pastor Tunde Bakari has revealed that he will become Nigerian's president on May the 29th, 2023. Recall that Pastor Tunde Bakari was one of the APC presidential aspirants that lost the presidential primaries to the national leader of the party, the All Progressive Congress, after scoring zero votes on that very primary election. In regards to this, according to the information from Premium Times newspaper, it revealed that the former APC presidential aspirant, Pastor Tunde Bakari, while addressing his church congregation during the Sunday service at the Cathedral Global Community the Ikeja, in Ikeja on why he scored zero, he stated that he will become president on May the 29, 2023. According to Pastor Tunde Bakari, who was standing before his congregation on Sunday while receiving the standing ovation, he stated that he remains on bad because he did not compromise on his values and integrity to build to the building of a new Nigeria. For him, the means has already been as important as the end. That is why he's confident he's confidently where his zero vote as a badge of zero tolerance for a certain kind of politics and the politicians we have today. I will not compromise on my values and get them to vote for me by me giving them something. He also said that his confidence is rooted in Daniel 4, 17, where the angels announce his decree, the holy watchman bring this st statement so that everyone living will know that the whole high God rules human kingdom. He agrees, he arranged he arranged kingdom affair. However, he wishes and make leaders out of losers and says he remains a winner. So he said the zero vote was a, a badge for a hero. Okay, it shows that he has zero tolerance to every form and kind of things that have not allowed okay Nigeria to move forward because people want things in certain way. We saw, you know, the whole election came and at the end of the day, Pastor Tunde Bakari, not a single person voted for him. Not a single one person voted for him, you know, and that speaks volume. He said he did not compromise on his values. He did not uh, give people money. You know, he did nothing of that. He stood by and to watch and see if people can see through, you know, all of this, that indeed he has a heart and is ready to build a new Nigeria. That was all he wanted, you know, and if they cannot see that very point and they cannot see that, you know, this is a kind of man that should, you know, bring about the building of a new Nigeria, then he's sorry, but not sorry. And he wears the zero vote as a badge of honor because he knows he will not compromise on his values. He knows he has given himself to serve. And if he's rejected, then it's the people's fault, not his fault. You see, then it's the people's fault, not his fault. 
So these are some of the things that are going on right now. And um, Nigerians, uh, Pastor Tunde Bakari, you know, he scored no vote, but he said it is a zero tolerance to, you know, uh, compromising on values, on integrity. You know, we heard that um, during the APC primary election, there was rains, rains of things. You know what those things are? They were it, those things were raining. Okay, it was raining very well, and um, many people and all that have become, you know, have become, you know, have began to see some of the things that have been happening. You know, what Pastor Tunde Bakari says, he, he says zero tolerance to all of these things because he's, he's ready to, you know, to, to lead. And um, he, he has already, you know, he has already given himself out there. He has already, you know, uh, first of all, it starts from the political party. If your political party members cannot trust you for them to project you as their candidate, then there's a problem. Okay, and APC is clear. He says they don't share the same values. He will not compromise. He will do none of these things. Okay, he will not compromise. He will not do any of those things that will make, you know, in the name of the God he serves to be compromised in all of this. Okay, so these are some of the things that are going on. And Pastor Tunde Bakari have allowed everyone to see and truly, you know, insist that, you know, he stood by truth and truth alone. He stood by truth and truth alone. Okay, so these are some of the things that are going on. And you know what he said? He said, I have, I wear my zero vote as a badge of honor. I wear my zero vote as a badge of honor. I do not uh, feel that feels somehow that I was not voted for. No, it's their loss, not mine. Okay, they, they lost, not mine. It was their loss, not mine. Well, these are some of the things that have happened so far, and we are here to bring you up to speed. Pastor Tunde Bakari believes very strongly that, you know, he's got what it takes, and then he will ensure that Nigerians and everyone can truly see, you know, how things have turned. Okay, he will ensure that you know, everyone can truly see how you know, it's done on the table. So, my wonderful people, we're about that time again. We are Nigerians can stand for what is right. Okay, we are Nigerians can truly see how things have been. It is about time we begin to re rededicate our hearts and our minds and ensure that, you know, we refuse everything and anything, okay, that will not move us forward as a people. It is about time. It is about time. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Bye.